I'm John Wilmus. Um, I'm going to be talking about some joint work with Lee Song, Santosh Vampala, and Boshi. So the big uh, overall goal that's uh, motivating this ongoing line of research is to try to understand why it is that training neural networks uh, by gradient descent is so unreasonably effective on real world data. Um, and as a first step toward that goal, it would be nice to at least understand uh, whether we can efficiently learn data that is itself generated by some small, nice, well-behaved neural network. So if I give you some small neural network, use this to generate some labeled examples, can you learn that function, the function implied by the neural network? Now, in this area, you unfortunately very quickly run into uh, hardness bottlenecks. For example, it's, it's already NP-hard to recover the weights uh, in a neural network with just three nodes. Um, now, we don't really care about that proper learning set setting here. We're interested in learning things improperly. I don't need to understand exactly what the weights are in the neural network that's generating my data. I just want to come up with some function that approximates it. Unfortunately, this is still hard, at least under some, some complexity theoretic or cryptographic assumptions. Even improperly, you can't efficiently learn data generated by small depth to neural networks. One weakness of uh, these earlier uh, great lower bounds for, for neural networks is that they're arguably somewhat unnatural. Uh, the input distributions here are all discrete. Whereas maybe in the real world, you would expect that uh, the data that you're actually encountering uh, is maybe generated by some nice smooth distribution. And maybe the activation functions, uh, if, if your ground truth data is uh, really generated by some neural network, you would expect them to maybe be smooth or something like that. So what if I'm asking this question for maybe more natural neural networks? Can I efficiently learn data generated by such networks? So here's the sort of network I might be talking about. I have uh, n Gaussian inputs, standard Gaussian inputs. I have not too many uh, sigmoid units uh, in the uh, hidden layer. And I have a single linear output. So this is about as nice, uh, small a, a neural network as you might hope for. Uh, and the question is, can you efficiently uh, learn the data generated by such a, a neural network? Um, I'll let you use whatever uh, representation you want. You don't even need to use a, a, a neural network training algorithm. But if you're using a neural network, maybe uh, you can use whatever depth you want, whatever however many units, whatever architecture, whatever uh, loss function, gradient descent variant you want to use. Um, can you efficiently recover this, uh, this function? Now, given my framing, you probably can guess that the answer is negative. Uh, in fact, we show that. Uh, no matter what algorithm you use in the, in the powerful statistical query framework, you're still not going to succeed in learning this function. Um, a statistical query algorithm is an algorithm that doesn't need to directly access the under, underlying uh, uh, labeled examples. Instead, it can just get by with uh, queries to some, uh, some oracle that will return the expected value of some arbitrary function over the, over the uh, the input distribution. So for example, in the, in the case of gradient descent, your queries would be uh, uh, asking for the, the expected value of the gradient uh, of the weights. Um, and what we show is that there exists a, a family of functions that uh, requires exponentially many queries from any statistical query algorithm, uh, functions represented in this form over such a nice uh, input distribution, or indeed over your choice of log concave uh, product distribution. Um, and you need this, this uh, exponential number of, of queries uh, that would correspond to exponentially many steps of gradient descent. Uh, even when the, the tolerance of your queries uh, is small enough that you would need uh, more labeled examples than there are parameters in your network in order to get a single such query. Uh, so to learn more about this statistical query framework, how we prove this result, and what it all means for you, uh, you can come by our poster at uh, poster number 206. Thank you.